Hey you guys, it's me Thomas number one fan 2003 here. And as you can see I'm here with another SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run book. And yeah, this one's actually called Welcome to Camp Coral. And yeah, it's pretty obvious that this book is actually based on like the flashbacks that SpongeBob had, you know, from when he was a child and he met his friends at camp. And yep, this is actually a little golden book. And, um, yeah, it's very, very cute. I really, really like it. So, as you can see on the front cover, there's little cute baby Gary eating a marshmallow. There's cute little Squidward roasting his marshmallow. And then there's cute little chubby Patrick eating his marshmallow. As you can see, he, like, bit, um, three on his stick. And he has one in his little hand. And little cutie Spongy Bob is just holding his marshmallow on a stick. He just looks so adorable. I love his cute little big rosy cheeks. Those are so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're like like little cabins back here. And they have the Camp Coral sign as well, which I quite like that. <laughs> and here's the spine. It's just gold. It's just a gold spine. And here's the back. It just has some like classic books and some like random other like Nickelodeon little golden books like uh, Shimmer and Shine which my little niece really likes that show and Sunny Day Butterbean Cafe and Paw Patrol or something I don't know my, my little niece probably likes those shows but I have no clue though to be honest but but um but yeah um okay let's get started looking at the pages that are in here oh Jeez. And I might need to write my name over here later or something. Okay. But as you can see, there's Mrs. Puff and Patrick and SpongeBob in a canoe. And yeah, SpongeBob and Patrick are like rowing the canoe or something. Yeah, this book is actually illustrated by Heather Martinez, which I think is really, really cool. Okay, so, li so little Spongy Bobby is at summer camp while his parents just dropped him off. And uh, his dad tells him that if he's lucky, he'll come home with two life's greatest gifts, which are friends and memories. Oh, that is so cute! Oh, oh okay, I am so sorry. I, 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 oh, they're so cute. Yeah, there's his mom and dad. They look so much younger, to be honest. Like, like they look so much younger in the in this book than they do in the regular show. <laughs> Yeah, there's this little sleeping bag, there's a pillow, and his luggage. How cute! Oh my gosh. I just- I just want to pinch those little cheeks. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Wait. Okay. okay. So Spongebob finds Patrick crying because he's unfortunately homesick. And Patrick doesn't have any friends. But Spongebob tells Patrick that he already has one. And it's Spongebob, of course. So, yep, they're best friends. Well, yeah, they're they're friends now. And they do a lot of fun stuff together, like rowing the canoe, riding on seahorses, um, zip lining, roasting marshmallows, and shooting, like, bows and arrows. Yeah. And then they meet Sandy as well. And there's a little Camp Coral talent show, and yeah, Mrs. Puff is holding the trophy. And yeah, there's a piece of coral on it since it is Camp Coral. <laughs> so, um, little Squidward is going to play his clarinet, and he thinks that, um, if he plays his clarinet awesome, then he'll- Oh jeez, if he plays his clarinet, like, really, really good, then he'll win the Campy Award. Yeah, there's little Spongebob and Patrick right there watching him as well. So, yep, Squidward plays his clarinet, but unfortunately, he doesn't do the best, but Spongebob and Patrick still cheer him on. Bless their little hearts. Oh. So, um, yeah, Spongebob and Patrick do their little act, and they sing their cute little goofy song, Aka Waka Maka Mia. Oh, wait. Yeah, Aka Maka. Wait, darn it! It's Aka Waka Maka Maka. 
All right, I'll just say it slower. Aka waka maka me. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> all right, and Squidward doesn't really like their act, but and but, but um, yeah, he says that their act is terrible, which I think their act is pretty cute. But unfortunately, Squidward doesn't win, but SpongeBob and Patrick win, which I think is really really cool. Yeah, Squidward's crying, so SpongeBob and Patrick go to cheer him up by giving Squidward their trophy. What little sweethearts are so sweet to give Squidward that trophy. Bless their little hearts. Oh. So, um, <clears throat> young Mr. Krabs makes Krabby Patties. And, um, man, Patrick has three. You're going to gain too much weight for eating those patties, Patrick. Oh, my word. So, um, yep. And little SpongeBob tells Mr. Krabs that he can open up his own restaurant someday. Which they have, the Krusty Krab. <laughs> so, yep. And then SpongeBob sees little Plankton. Plankton is so tiny, oh my gosh. Look at how tiny this food is. Oh, that is so cute. But yeah, Plankton says that he'll never be as successful as Mr. Krab. So SpongeBob tells Plankton to ask Mr. Krabs for the secret formula. But then, um, Mr. Krabs says no. So, yeah. That's really funny. And this is the part that makes me literally want to burst into tears. Oh my gosh. This is the part where little Spongebob meets little baby Gary. Yeah, Spongebob just wanted to sit on a log just so he could eat his patty, but he sees little Gary for the first time. Oh, that's so cute. So Spongebob names his little snail Gary. And they're actually friends. And, yep, so Spongebob made a lot of wonderful friends at Camp Coral. And Spongebob thought it was the greatest camp ever. Man, if I lived under sea, I would love to go to Camp Coral, but but I'm too old for summer camp. But, I, but it's okay. I mean, I went to a summer camp when I was little, though, but but not like that. <laughs> well, they didn't have uniforms. So, and yep, that's pretty much the end of this cute little book. And... Yeah, that's the end of Welcome to Camp Coral. I really, really love this book. It is seriously the cutest little story ever. Oh my gosh. It is so, so stinking cute. I love the illustrations of little cute chubby 10-year-old Spongy Bobby. And oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. It's the cutest thing in the whole entire world. I mean, oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, 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 so, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed Welcome to Camp Coral, and let me know what your favorite part about this book was. I love the ending where Spongebob met Gary, and he thinks that it was the greatest camp ever, and he's really happy that he made a lot of friends and stuff. And, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this book, and stay tuned for my video of... Happy campers, which will be coming up soon. <laughs> okay. So goodbye, everybody, and have a great day, and peace out.